Hey guys, this is part two of Demetrio's The Big Clinical Cynical Adventure. I'll be able to spit it out here in a second. Uh, like I said, this is part two. So uh, if you have not checked out part one, you might want to do that because you will be pretty lost in this episode. Uh, this is a demo version for the PS4. However, this game is available on PlayStation Vita, Microsoft Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, so yeah, we did some searching of our apartment and we met Sandra so we're gonna speak to her and see what she has to say um and yeah let's jump in shall we all right so we walked out of our apartment and we have met Sandra oh hello Bjorn pardon me but did you hear all that racket last night racket what racket it sounded like an argument in the hall don't tell me you didn't hear it it woke me up in the middle of the night well not really I'm a heavy sleeper you know uh, let's talk about that argument. Can you tell me anything more about what happened last night? Well, it was two men judging from their voices. And? And, oh, one had a deep voice with a foreign accent. What about the other voice? Let me think. It was rather high-pitched, and that's pretty much all I can remember. Say, Sandra, what do you do for a living? Watermelon seller or maybe barbecue cleaner? Bjorn, I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. Well then. Oh, before I forget, while you're here, can you lend me that book you told me about? Book? Yes, the cookbook. All right. Yeah, as soon as I get it, I'll bring it to you. All right. See you later. Okay, so I don't know why I keep bringing that thing up. Um, so I think the cookbook was in our bedroom. Um... Wasn't it? Was it not? I thought I could have swore it was in our cooking for idiots. Uh, great. This is exactly the book Sandra was looking for. Now the intruder in my library is gone. Okay, so let's go back out, and I think uh, that that doesn't open. Weird. Why is that door locked? Is it Sandra's apartment, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Bjorn, why did you knock on my door? I have a doorbell, you know. Okay, sorry. I'm not used to these modern gadgets. Uh, let's give you the cookbook. As promised, here's your cooking Bible. Sorry for the delay. To make up for it, you can keep it. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. With this, I'll finally become the real cook I've always wanted to be. She's serious? I owe you one, Bjorn. Please take this. Hey, what the heck is this? Oh, it's a lighter. I can see that, but why are you giving me this? I found it in front of my door. It may belong to one of the men from the fight last night. You sounded so interested earlier, so I figured I'd give it to you. Good thinking. Something's written on the lighter. For Hector, my friend and partner. And underneath is an address. Wow, this is a major clue. <laughs> we just got a clue. Uh, new location unlocked. Bjorn, are you okay? Sorry, just lost in thought. Please come for dinner someday. I'll let you taste my new recipes. Okay. Uh, danger sign. Elevator jam. Please panic and scream loudly. Great. Now I know what to do next time. Uh, waste basket. Oh no, it's been emptied. I'd love to search for good stuff in it. I can tell by your apartment you are a dirty fella. Uh, something tells me I should avoid using the elevator. That's probably, probably a good idea. Okay, so uh, a child fell through this opening once. He was found clinging to that pipe. Fortunately, he didn't damage it. My rent would have gone up. Well, that's that's the only thing you want to talk about, huh? All right, what are we going to call the police? I feel like we should probably do that. Andrew's police department. Stealing is bad. Murder is badder. Okay, child's drawings, some child's drawings. No, wait, is that a signature? And there's a message to my lovely Sarah Eugene. Wow. A plant. Peeing on a plant is forbidden. Hmm, that certainly gives me ideas. No. Yeah, I'm crazy, but not insane. Okay, so, uh... Let's talk to the police officer, shall we? Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to file a complaint for burglary and aggression. 
Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What, you don't even ask my name first? There are two options. If you have an ID card, your name is written on it. Two, if you don't, any answer you'd give wouldn't be acceptable anyway. Okay, file a complaint. Here we go. See, that wasn't so hard. Speak for yourself. Let's see. Mr. Bjorn Theron, say your name doesn't sound very French. Listen, I was born in Paris. I'm French. End of the line. Whoa, don't lose your temper. That was just a little joke. But you're right. These days I don't feel so well. And I'm so thirsty in here. I wish we had an ice cream machine. Anyways, let's not get off track. So you'd like to file a complaint. One second. I'll grab a form. Go on. Tell me what happened. So yesterday I was at my apartment. And here I am. There, you know everything. Interesting. So now I'll just wait for the ink to dry, then put your complaint into the appropriate file cabinet. Wait, I don't get it. I explained I've been robbed and knocked unconscious, and that's all you do? My good man, we receive dozens of complaints about attacks like these every day. Anyone with any sense would understand that we only follow up on the most important cases. Hopefully we'll find your aggressor. With a whole barrel of luck, you mean? Sorry, I can't do more for you. Uh, I'd like to report something important. You see, I got a rare statue at home. It's supposed to have some kind of tablet on it, and it's gone. It was there yesterday, and now I can't find it. So, this must be what the thieves were after. They've stolen it. Or maybe you just moved the tablet someplace else. Or it went into the trash when you used your vacuum. You don't take me seriously, do you? No, I don't. Listen, I'll add this to the complaint file if that's what you want. Yes, but don't you understand? This is no ordinary burglary. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> that's what I think about this place. <laughs> Just trash everywhere. All right, so trash on the plant. They should at least clean up occasionally. Window, all right, the window is here. That could prove useful in an emergency. I like this sign. Can we talk about the sign? Alright, so... You know, I swear I've seen that character somewhere else. What does that say? Unsolved case. Here's an investigator. Can't pinpoint where or when, though. Maybe I'll remember soon. Looks like they're having fun at the police station. Maybe I chose the wrong career after all. Sure, we'll play some darts. Mister, where are you going? Just playing some darts, is that okay? Uh, usually no, but I'm curious how someone so simple-minded would do. Hey, what do you mean, simple-minded? Never mind, let's see if you're better than Eugene. Little concentration, aim, and there. Whoops, in the wall. That was your first try. Better luck next time. <laughs> well, the police were very helpful. Oh, brother. Okay, so I think this is our store. Uh, wow, would you look at this? Such awesome deals. Gotta enter quick. That's probably what my clients think when they look at the window. That is probably not what they think. Hey, another bag of chips. People disgust me leaving a perfectly good bag on the floor and with chips still inside. Delicious. Wow, that was like the first noise that the character actually made. Is that a cookie? Oh, the poor little cookie. It almost fell in the sewer. I saved you, kiddo. I forgot about those cookies. I gotta be on the lookout for those. Uh, newspaper doesn't look very in- Hey! Antique seller murdered. Oh, boy. That's the same bird statue. The article says that an antique seller was killed last week for unknown reasons. This looks awfully similar to what happened to me last night, which means gulp. Maybe I'm a bit lucky after all. I'd better keep this article. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Hey, ice cream. So I wonder if I can, uh... Five euros for one ice cream? That is outrageous. I can hear you. So I wonder if I can, uh... Purchase an ice cream and bring it to the, uh... the policeman um let 
Let's get past this. Uh, hello, mister. You want an ice cream? Of course not. I'm here to buy groceries. Ha, uh, I see you're quite the funny one. What are your specialties? The West Indian ice cream, kiwi, gava, and leash all mixed together to make the most delicious dessert ever. You want one? Maybe later. So, um... I wouldn't mind buying a delicious ice cream, but with my current state of the finances. So, yeah, I kind of wonder if maybe I can buy an ice cream for the police officer. And then, uh, take it back to him? I don't know. Uh, what the? The door has been forced open. Great. The burglars must have visited my store, too. What are they looking for? Let's see if anything is missing. I don't know how I'm going to know if anything's missing, but... You say so. It's sealed. The box cannot be opened. I believed it was made like that from the beginning. I lit it once to make the room look pretty. It ended up being a disaster. The candlestick itself was the only thing I could salvage. The mirror is half broken. I don't think clients expect to buy mint condition articles here anyways. Well, that's fair. So, can I... No. Okay. Nice plant. The only downside is ki kids playing hide and seek behind it. Did I mention I hate kids? Kind of seen that one. Well, I can't go upstairs. A client sold me a very big, very heavy piano. I tried to put it upstairs, but failed. It's totally stuck on the stairs, blocking the way. So I just decided to close the floor. Definitely the most logical thing to do and the easiest. This guy is <laughs> certainly interesting. Yep. That's a rare production of a map from back when people thought the earth was flat. Some plastic flowers. I think they've never water. I've never watered them anyway. So either they're plastic or insanely hardy. Vintage is great. Vintage is easy money. Oh, oh! I remember now. A kid put a cookie there last month. I never put anything on the chair aside from my butt, obviously. Obviously. Uh, so let's see if. Oh no, it's empty. The thief must have. Wait, it's been empty for ages. The thief has nothing to do with this. Swords. One of them has a pink handle. I suppose it's for women to smite the men who cheated on them. I mean. An arrow and two spears to be more precise. Why don't the killers in horror movies ever use these kinds of weapons? That would be awesome. Well, I'm sure there are some that do. A dagger and a machete. They can both be used for decoration or peeling potatoes. How do I know it's antique? Well, the shape, of course, and the smell. So, I don't see anything in here. A phone! Hey, totally forgot I left it here yesterday. Finally. Mobile phone is a special item. You find it in the top bar. So, can I do anything with this? Phone numbers. Tom. Hello, who's this? Tom, this is Bjorn. What's up? Just trying my phone. It works great, right? You're kidding, right? Don't you have anything more important to do? Probably. We'll get to it. Some of the items in my store come from museums. Sometimes they get rid of cool stuff. They decide it's probably fake. Not quite the sound I expected. <laughs> uh, it's broken in some places, but I doubt anyone's going to buy this to hold water anyways. Oops. Um, viewed from afar, it looks like it's made of crystal. However, when you get close, you realize it's plastic. A shield is a type of personal armor meant to intercept attacks either by stopping projectiles like arrows or redirecting a hit from a sword, mace, battle axe, or similar weapon to the side of the shield bearer. Thank you so much, Wikipedia. It looks a bit Egyptian. Probably fake, though. Okay, so we have to convince the police that things are weird so that's weird I'm not completely sure considering how much rubbish I have here but nothing seems to be missing from my store so why was the door forced open all right so what should I do now uh when you can't remember what you're supposed to do check the <laughs> wow that was like perfect timing wasn't it okay so um Yes, amazing logo. 
So I really feel like this ice cream man, I need to buy something. But why won't it? I thought it said, do I need money? I don't know, I'm kind of confused. Um, ooh, a cookie. Next to the banana peel is a cookie. Seriously, people wasting perfectly good cookies. If anything's inside, it's probably all musty now. Looks like there isn't enough space on the ground. Okay, so. All right, let's. I don't know if this is gonna work. We found that newspaper. Um. Here's your proof. Read this article. Don't you see the correlation to my story? Not really. It says an antique seller was, seller was killed last week. That man had a statue identical to the one that belongs to me. And look at the picture. No tablet either. All right, but that doesn't prove anything. You could have made up the whole thing based on that newspaper. I'll include the article in your report, but that's pretty much it. So despite all this, I still can't get an appointment with Inspector Cassie. Sorry, but I really can't be of any help for you now. And I'm literally dying of thirst. Hmm. Let's say I bring you a drink. Would that help me get me, get me an appointment? Maybe. Just maybe if you brought me an ice cream. An ice cream? Okay, I'll get you that. Quick, please. I'm suffocating in this uniform. So you want an ice cream, huh? What are you waiting for? Seeing you idle like this makes me all sweaty. Okay, so... How much money... I have 575 euros, so you're not allowed to go up there. Okay, maybe since he asked for an ice cream cone, maybe now I can buy it. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, which flavor of ice cream? I don't know. Vanilla, maybe. One vanilla ice cream coming up. Here you go. Okay. Uh, that'll be five euros, please. All right. Take my last bill. Let's hope this was worth it. Okay. So you have to wait for the policeman to ask for the ice cream, even though, you know, I was pretty sure that's what I needed to do. Okay. Still hanging around in weather like this, you shouldn't get yourself so worked up. Here's you an ice cream. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give wow, he snatched it from my hand. What's this? Well, a vanilla ice cream. Vanilla? You, you said vanilla? I hate vanilla. It's awful. You don't have to throw it away. How was I supposed to know? You should have asked. Well, I still brought you an ice cream, so how about getting me an appointment? You almost poisoned me, and now you want me to help you? Jeez Louise, this guy can't get anything done. Oh, wait. Okay, I'll bring you another. What do you like? Coconut. Coconut and that's all. You only like coconut ice cream. Precisely. I had to get the most annoying police officer ever. I'm always so lucky. All right, I'll bring you a coconut ice cream. How? I have no money. Oh, gosh. I actually gave him almost gave him my money okay so that's definitely not what i was trying to do at all okay guys so i know this is a completely crazy idea but this guy um The guy likes coconut, and don't I have, like, coconut deodorant or something, like, in my bathroom? Uh, I'm not really satisfied with my previous ice cream. It was kind of accidentally dropped on the floor, and I wondered... Sorry, no refund. See, it's written in big characters in front of my cart. I thought so. In that case, would you sell me a coconut ice cream for what's left in my pockets, which is 75 euros? You poor thing. I don't have coconut, and my prices start at 5 euros. Sorry, man, but I'm running business here, you know? Yep. 
He said he doesn't want to sell me one for 75 or does he? <laughs> so... Hmm... Great, for once something made in France. Um... Okay, the Scottish one is on sale for 50 cents. Why is it so cheap? Well, to tell you the truth, it's only water. I mean, an ice cube. It's a Scottish ice cream, you know? Pathetic. Okay, so... An ice cream that only costs half a euro. You really want one? An ice cube and a cone? I think so, yes. As you wish. Here you go. Okay, so we got, like, an ice cone. Uh, thank you. Real pleasure doing business with you, but I have, like, no money. So, let's go back to the apartment. And... <laughs> Guys, this is totally crazy, but... I just remember it being really weird that the coconut it said like it was edible and I was like why do you need like edible deodorant freshen up with this coconut flavored deodorant see the tropics will come destroy your filth so I need this hmm not bad this does taste a bit like coconut uh I don't know Will that work? So let's open our inventory and yeah, that's it. Some here, a little more there. I sprayed coconut flavor all over the ice cube. Coconut ice cream. He won't even notice. It's all in the mind. All right. So there's a lot of back and forth in this. But <laughs> let's drop off this ice cone, ice cream cone, ice, ice, coconut ice cream here. Oh, still here, I see. Guess what I have in my hands? A cow. Almost. A coconut ice cream. Awesome. Can I have it? Give it to me quick. I'd do anything to taste it. Just a minute. First, I'd like to talk to Inspector Cassie. He's not here currently, but I can give you an appointment for tomorrow if you really want. If I really want... Do you seriously think I starts high and low for that bloody coconut ice cream just for fun? Alright, alright. So your appointment with the inspector will be 10 a.m. tomorrow morning right here on the first floor. Does that suit you? Very well. Here, take this. You earned it. Now I must run an errand. Bye. Hmm, delicious. That's a weird aftertaste. I should quit smoking. I'm losing my sense of taste. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. A job well done, but the day isn't over. I should examine the other leads I have. All right, guys. So that game was uh, certainly interesting. Um, so Demetrio Demetrio's The Big Cynical Adventure. And this game uh, is available on PlayStation Vita, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, you should definitely check it out. The story is kind of interesting. I mean, the, the, like, the clues and the puzzles, it was kind of, like, outlandish. Like, you kind of had to really, uh, think about it. Like, I just happened to remember about the coconut deodorant from the first episode, if you did not watch that. Um, but had I forgot that, I would have, like, been completely lost. So, I think this would be a game you would, like really benefit from like knowing someone with a playthrough or whatever but um yeah it was actually it was pretty fun i really like the art style the music was kind of cool too uh it has that like outlandish sense of humor so if you're into that then i definitely think this would be really fun but uh yeah let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this uh hope you guys did enjoy it and thanks for watching